Okay, that's part two. Let's take a look at part three. Part three is the same experiment we've already done. We're going to find the average specific heat of aluminum, but for a different temperature range. Instead of boiling water to room temperature, we're going to look at boiling liquid nitrogen to around room temperature. Well, it starts out the same. Conservation of energy. We have our term for the aluminum, term for the water. We're letting delta Q equal zero. And then algebra. And then we get this. All right, so let's see here. So the average specific heat of aluminum. Okay, so the mass of the water, we can find that, no problem. The average specific heat of water, we'll be given that. Ah, the initial temperature of the water, we'll measure that. And then we have the final temperature for both of these because they're in thermodynamic equilibrium. We'll measure that. Mass of the aluminum, we'll measure that. And then the initial temperature of the aluminum, well, that will be given to us as minus 195.8. Also, keep in mind, last time the negative sign was distributed with the aluminum. This time the negative sign is distributed with the water because the water is what's losing heat this time. Let's go. Okay, so once again, find the mass of the aluminum cube. Put the paper clip on the other side. All right. Okay, then once you do that, put it back in this liquid nitrogen bath and let that reach the boiling temperature of liquid nitrogen. Then we use this cup for the water. It's a little bigger than the time we did this experiment before. You'll notice the right cup because it has part of its lip removed. And we find that mass. Okay, then once you find that mass, we want around 200 grams of water. So, I'm going to put them at 200 grams and then pour in until I just get around 200. There we go. You might overshoot it and have to remove a little bit. Okay, so find this mass. Okay, so just remember, we found the mass of the cup. Now we found the mass of the cup plus the water. The difference is the mass of the water, which is what we need. Okay, so next, we find the temperature of the water. Well, get the thermometer, put it in, wait a little while. Okay, and then remember, look on it, no parallax, one decimal place. Okay, so now, We're ready to do the transfer. Make sure the transfer is nice and smooth. Don't spend a long time out of the liquid nitrogen because we could be gaining heat from the environment. All right, so one fluid motion. Up, in, and then stir, 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 stir. Try not to lose any mass when you're stirring. The, the aluminum cube will develop some ice around it and it'll probably stick to the bottom. Don't worry about that. Just keep stirring until you melt the ice and it reaches its equilibrium temperature. <sighs> That's your data. Listen, this experiment was rough for me. As I mentioned, lost love is difficult. This experiment was tough, but what's one more lash in the flogging of lost love? You know what's been said, that it's better to have loved and lost than to never loved at all. That's not true.